We are going to continue this year in such a romantic way, and today I have three new things that I am going to share with you that we can do to help us romanticize our life. Welcome back. We are finally in March. I completely welcome this month with open arms. I just think that it's a great time for me to just move forward, especially with spring coming. And um, one of the things that I have that I would like to share with you to do in this month is to host a ladies luncheon. So maybe that would be just with one lady or maybe two or three. Um, I know that sometimes some people can be intimidated just by one person because then they feel maybe that they have to hold up this whole conversation or they just like to have a couple of other people around. So that's why I'm not going to say, you know, just one person, but for myself as an introvert, I do enjoy just having one person around. And then I feel that we can really dive deeply into different conversations and really get to know one another well. And then it's also not like a competition for, um, you know, just, the floor having the floor and um, that's just something that I know works for me. So whatever is your cup of tea, make sure you serve some tea. No, not everybody likes tea, but um, whatever your cup of tea is when it comes to hosting, whether that is one person or two or three, I would really encourage you to host a ladies luncheon. It's just nice to get back into the swing of being around other people. This is something that I feel that we have to relearn how to do because um, for a while there, we just, we've been staying away from everyone, right? We've even started just to lose touch with other people. So start reaching out again, seeing if you can have somebody over. It doesn't have to take a lot, but the idea is all about just getting together with those ladies and enjoying that time with one another. The next thing that I would encourage you to do is to take information in through a book or an article, some form of reading from paper instead of like on your cell phone or on a tablet or on your, on your computer, finding a really good book that you can just sit down and not be distracted by other things because I will be the first to tell you that when I start taking in information digitally, I get very distracted. And so it's much more romantic anyway to take in your information through a book or through just, you know, the old fashioned way, just reading from paper. And so I myself love to read magazines. I love the short articles in the magazines, especially in a newspaper. And I just learned so much that way instead of even having to dedicate myself and so much time to a given book. I love books, but I think I prefer the shorter articles myself because I feel like I can get the gist of the information without spending so much time on something and it really helps improve my life so much more in a short amount of time. So that's the way that I, I just always love getting the newspaper. I am subscribed to the Epic Times and then I'm also subscribed to a couple of different magazines. Um, Victoria Magazine is one of them. I also subscribe to Southern Lady. Um, I have a couple of other ones coming as well, but if you love magazines, please let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite, and also if there's a book that you are currently reading, what that book is in the comments section. Now this next one is a real fun one, and I am, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one this month. It is to add a dress this month to your wardrobe. Now if you don't wear dresses, then you know, all of these suggestions that I give, of course, are for the ladies that are seeking these kind of things so you know you don't have to give all your excuses about why you're not going to do this or not do that but I am going to encourage you to buy yourself a dress or get yourself a new dress in some way this is always fun to do around this time of year in the springtime because it's almost dress season as they say spring dress and um, 
I love to just look at all the different styles that are coming out, but don't just feel that you have to get a brand new dress. You can also search Poshmark where so many dresses are available in your size if you are, you know, if you have an account there and you are able to put your size in, then all the dresses that you may search if you're looking for a midi length dress or a maxi dress or a three quarter sleeve dress, anything like that, all those that are your size are going to be what are going to pop up and what you are going to see on there. I think that this is a much easier way to thrift and that's the way that I prefer to do it instead of say going to a thrift shop and then searching through dresses. I just often feel that I'm not always finding what I'm searching for in that way. So sometimes it can feel like a waste of time for me. So um, I'm not against thrifting though. I, I have done a lot of that and especially antique shopping. I do enjoy that. but. Um, if you're searching for a dress, especially one in your size, and you kind of are a little bit more specific about what you're looking for, then I would encourage you to shop either Macari or Poshmark, something like that. But then also there are just the other shops out there, Kohl's even. That is where I purchased this dress right here, which I got it, I think a couple of months ago. And I was just very excited for, um, this dress because I have it in a different color and this is by Lauren Conrad. When it comes to romanticizing our life, of course these are things that are not necessary but they are things that just make life a little bit more enjoyable for us and more fulfilling. To me that is especially wearing dresses. I love wearing dresses, I have ever since I was young and so that's something that I do speak a lot about on my channel and I encourage and especially with just the way that um, you can make your body look so much better in a dress usually I would say than you can if you're wearing pants if you're wearing a top it's just a wonderful way to dress the feminine physique so that is something that I would highly encourage and what is more romantic than a dress because a dress is so beautiful, it's very feminine, and so romantic. So I, of course, will be talking all about the dresses that I am going to be having in my wardrobe this month and in the months to come. So I hope that you look forward to those kind of videos. Let me know in the comments below if you are going to be finding a new dress for yourself and adding to your wardrobe in that way. And then, of course, it doesn't always have to even be something purchased. It can be something that you make. If you are, if you love to sew or something like that, then sew yourself a new dress for the springtime. So thank you so much for being here with me. I cannot wait to hear what all of you have to say in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye everyone.